Bronzevian asks, will there be any more space in the vault? Okay. We've, uh, we've heard the vault space question. Uh, should, we go, should we go check in with the vault right now, guys? Uh, I think we should stay on target, man. All right, all yeah, right. We got, we, got a lot, we got a lot of places to go. Okay. What else, what else do they want to know about Cosmo? Uh, I Have Toes says, what happens to existing Vanguard and Crucible marks come TTK? What does happen to existing Vanguard and Crucible marks come Taken King? Well, if we go see Shax... Jax has uh, some stuff for us to check out, and okay. we, can probably, we can probably answer that. Guys, these vaults are right here. Are you sure you don't want me to just stick my head in here real quick? Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. All right, down into the Hall of Guardians. There he is. Hulk of a man. He is the Crucible, you know. He is the Crucible. No place for mercy. So the first thing you'll see here is that Shax has quests for you. So not only do we have PvE, you know, cooperative mm -hmm. um, quests, we also have player versus player quests. And these are going to start as, as early as level 5 and carry you throughout, um, throughout your Destiny journey. And so here you can see, and it's got, you know, this is about killing, you know, it kills with plus 2 con control zones, and mm -hmm. there's also rewards for these quests. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, this is, we think this is a really important part of, of the experience, because there are, there are people who really binge on PvP, and you know, we want there to be many ways for them to be able to um, experience the game and earn, earn you know, valuable rewards. Yep. Sure. Okay, cool. If you go back to Shax, you will notice um, he's got uh, a suite of new bounties. Um, Get ready to screenshot, YouTubers. These are all weekly bounties, too. Yeah, they're all, they're all weekly bounties. And if you complete all five of these weekly bounties, you can complete the final bounty here on the right, which is the true meaning of war, which, as you can see, gives you unknown rewards. Well, we can tell you today they're, they're not so unknown. These are excellent rewards. They're nightfall tier rewards. So, you know, let, you know certainly legendary and a transfer, even exotic. We mm -hmm. wanted PvP players to have, you know, an avenue to get those same kind of rewards because, you know, these aren't easy bounties. Like yep. This, this is, this is, this is going to be hard to do. Sure. And unknown rewards are still fun. I mean, you don't want to completely remove every element of mystery from Destiny. Oh, yeah, there's, so. there's still some randomness there. But if you do this, you're going to get a sweet reward, like, period, every week. Yeah. And Lord Shax says, you showed them. Or maybe I'll just say that. <laughs> you showed them the true meaning of war. Cool. All right. Uh, also, check this out. I see uh, some legendary ghosts. Yeah, so if you open one of those legendary ghosts. Okay. Uh, so in addition to the sensor perks that you saw on the rare tier ones, you've mm -hmm. got, you know, more stat bonuses, uh, sensors, um, extractor perks, which just increase the amount of a material that you get. Okay, yeah. And then there's also these perks, which are generating additional glimmer as you kill things. So, Interesting. So, you know, here's a perk nice. for someone who likes Picking on about our titans. I in love PvP. picking on titans in PvP, <coughs> especially hunters. Are there hunter ones? There are one of each on Shack, so you'll nice. be able to pick your poison. So between all the ghosts I'm going to collect and all yeah. the armor I'm going to collect with the different burn defenses on it, I'm, I'm going to really want more space, man. Yeah, well, yeah. you're the one who won't let me look in the vault, so. <laughs> so uh, there was a question though about the so legendary going, marks, right? Going back to the question about yeah, uh, marks. What happens to our marks? Vanguard and Crucible marks. So Vanguard and Crucible marks are both being replaced with a single new currency. We're trying to simplify this, uh, make it easier for people to do what they want to do, but still be able to access a lot of the different rewards in the tower. Yeah. So legendary marks replace Vanguard marks, Crucible marks. These are actually account-wide, the same as your Glimmer is. So if you've earned them on one character, you can still use them to buy something on another character. Nice, nice. Uh, these come from things like the Daily Heroic or the Weekly Heroic, but they also come from the Daily PvP playlists okay. and Weekly PvP playlists as well. So this goes back to our original point about letting people play what they want to play and get the stuff that they want to get. I feel yep. like there's a lot of sort of firewalls being lifted where if I want to spend all my time in the Crucible, yep. I can do that. Or if I'm somebody who loves strikes and raids and patrols, but I want that dead orbit gear, you're not forcing me to go in and earn Crucible marks to do that. That's right. There's so giving players a little bit more freedom over their experience. Yeah, you know? we, we, w we want people to be able to do the things that they enjoy playing Destiny okay. and you know not feel like they have to do one thing or another. Now, there are still some specific rewards to specific activities. Of course, but, of course. But, you know... The other thing about legendary marks is you'll see you've got 200 here, so that's the size of your wallet. Yeah. Um, but unlike Vanguard marks and Crucible marks, there's actually no limit on how many you can earn in a week. So you can spend these 200 right now and just go yeah. back out into the battlefield and start killing things and getting more marks. So I've hit the ceiling. I have 200. Yeah. That's as much as I can hold so in my that's wallet. That's the size of your wallet. But I spend down and I earn again and I spend down and I earn again. Yeah. And you're never going to tell me over the course of a week you've earned enough. Stop playing. Yeah, you've had too much fun. Go yeah. away. Um, okay. Nice. 
but the original question was i have all these vanguard marks i have all these crucible marks what happens to them on september fifteenth on nine fifteen when you log in will convert the old marks from the marks to commendations ok so players should find that pretty useful because when they come into taking king they'll have a bunch of these commendations waiting for them on the postmaster and you know you might be able to like just cash them in and get a a faction package right away ok so yeah i'll put those in my inventory and the same way we did on day one of uh, the House of Wolves, I take those commendations, I burn them from reputation, That's right. and I just watch my vanguard and my crucible rep yep. go up. I get some of these new reward packages that you Hopefully. were talking about. Yep. There's okay. one other key source of legendary marks, um, which is in the name, yep. legendaries themselves. And so when you get a legendary item, you can, you, know, you can say, hey, I like this, I don't want to equip this. Or you can shard it, and when you shard the legendary item, it actually generates legendary marks. So if you go ahead and shard that item. Yeah, you sure? Yep. You sure? Yep, yep. Do it. Oh, whoops. Um, so. <laughs> Is it because I didn't reach the proper level? It's because it's not 915 yet. Ah, okay. Uh, so legendary armor, the year two stuff that you get from Taken King, uh, actually will produce legendary marks when you shard it. So if you find a legendary that you're not going to use, uh, you can just, you know, chew it up and use it to. Yeah. Deal your other purchases. So it's still valuable to me. Absolutely. It's still, okay, cool. I'm, I'm earning currency, I'm earning money, if you will, yep. by dismantling things that I have no use for. I can then use that currency to buy things I actually want. Yep. So taking yep. a little bit of that, you know, like that wasteful earning sensibility out. Like, I don't need this, but I do, you know, it always yep. has something you need. We, we want more of the things that drop for players to be valuable and yeah. useful, even if you actually don't have a use for another pair of legs that, you know, have less power on it. Um, so in addition to sharding them for marks, we have another mechanic that we'll talk about a bit later that, you know, is intended to keep things useful to you. Okay. So let's head over to our site across the hall here. Yeah, the Quartermaster. He, yeah, he also has some new PvP bounties, this time that are very um, weapon-focused. Okay. So let's check some of those out. Get ready so. to screenshot and go. So these are, uh, these are also weekly bounties, um, and these are just you know, switching things up a little bit. Yep. Our site here specializes in the crucible weapons, and so he's got some bounties that, mm -hmm. you know, uh, ask you to try out some different weapons. Okay, cool. He's got his own guns, too. Looking good. Very colorful. Yeah, there's a, a certain color motif going on here. I'm not sure why I recognize it. I don't, yeah, I have no clue where that comes from. Okay, anything else about the crucible quartermaster? Uh, you can see that, uh, obviously, my rank is uh, not zero in the Crucible. Uh, this is a test account. You are in a test environment. My Crucible reputation, my Crucible rank mm -hmm. carries over? They all carry over, yes. Okay, so I may be able to walk in here on day one and just start buying weapons as soon as I have the necessary currency. As soon as you get some legendary marks, yeah, yeah. you have access to all these things. Okay, and uh, obviously the bounties are for the taking and for the tracking on my ghost right away. Yep. Cool. All right. So uh, I guess in terms of where we go next here in the town,